Yep. So we yeah, are we're, we're going to go on to Summit Search and Destroy. Winner of this takes uh, brings the series to two one. So I don't know, looking a little phased. They're looking a little phased that they lost that. But I mean, if we just look at the scores of pre the, both the previous rounds, it was four three to Lowland Lines in the two captain one flag. Demolition. Two one demolition. This it's is close. close. Lowland Lines are holding their own, and Search and Destroy Summit. We saw a really close game between Imperial Dot Two and the uh, Ruthless, Ruthless yeah. Team. Ruthless Candy. went to Candy. five five last round. Ruthless managed to get the final kill in a one versus one gun battle between uh, the Mad Cat and one of the ruthless players. Uh, so, yeah, what, how did that Summit Search and Destroy go? Sorry, uh, I didn't actually get to watch it. I was uh, like, it, it very, very close. Madcap went absolutely huge. Yeah. He was triple positive. Hmm? Just deciding which team are going to host here this Summit Search and Destroy. Uh, if I had to get a prediction from you, Earl. I, well, I mean, if Lowland Lines would have got that demolition Havana, I would have been edging towards them. They, yeah, they would have only had to win one, one more round, and they've got that, that confidence boost. But now Apex are right back in it. The scores are tied. Apex, you know, on paper are a stronger team. They have more achievements, and like I say, on paper a better team. But Lowland Lines are holding their own at the moment. It may just come down to practice, but in Search and Destroy, practice doesn't matter as much as the individual player skill does. No. We are... Going to go straight in now. Search and destroy. Summit, is there any team you want to start off spectating first? Um, I want to spectate Crooks again. We'll go. I just do like seeing the start. The start of any game, uh, from his point of view, is always a good start. Mm -hmm. uh, Very I mean, aggressive. It will tell you how. It will actually tell you how the rest of it's going to play out. Mm -hmm. Because if he gets taken out really quickly on the rush, then it's probably not going to turn out too well. Uh, it just means that they, you know, they're, they're a player down. And if it goes well. Uh, then you know that they've got the good opening kills and there you go. He's fallen the grenade exchange between Apex and Lowland Lions bringing it to three versus three. Lowland Lions are on the attack at the moment. We will follow our usual plan of sticking with each team for two rounds then switching over so we see both a defend and attack, see what the teams are doing from both points of uh, both styles of play. So now it's a 2v2 strict onto Black. It's a 2v1 situation for Riddles or Tommy? Now let's have a look who is left. It's, it's Riddles. Riddles, one versus two at the moment. There's 50 seconds left on the clock, and Lowland Lines have got to defend, uh, have got to attack. Riddles gets one kill, one versus one now. And now it's Riddles here up against one more Lowland Lines player. It's strict. He picks him up, picks up the 2v1, and that's one round to Apex right there. Uh, uh, spect oh, it's always, is it? No. It, it's only, it's only going to be the first round. Uh, we, yeah, the rules may, uh, actually, no, sorry, the rules are fine. There's just a spectator glitch. I'm, I'm not sure why that happened. No. Happened, it's happened. At I, I mean, event. it was happening to me then. I was panning through the actual players. Yeah, you could see both. I was trying to work uh, out what was going on. As long as you on. can't see it now, right? Yeah, let me just have a quick check. No, nah. everything is as it should be on board with Crooks now with the marathon. And there you go. Picks up the kill onto team kill. And now it's a 3v4 situation for LLL. They haven't been able to exchange another kill. Oh, it's nice to see aggressive play on the defend. I mean, he's got up quite far crooks now. And, and there you uh, go, LLL leveling up 3v3 right now. Black, bring it back to 3v2. Bullets exchanged between both players there. Crooks managed to get the better of Strict. And that's going to work in their favor as we see a 3 versus 1 for Apex. Yeah, at the moment, I mean, what I'm seeing a lot of the time when a player gets into a one-on-one -on -one gunfight is that they, they never leave it. They always go back and they challenge it and they try and finish it off. It's Crooks here in bottom comms up against, uh, I think that's DNA in this situation. And as I said, always trying to challenge that kill, always trying to go and, uh, you know, chase that kill. And in the end, it didn't work out too well for LLL here. They're 2-0 down in the search and destroy. But it's first to six. Yeah, Crooks actually played that really well. The low line line uh, wizard uh, DNA actually did have some good cover. So Crooks just waited for the right moment when he jumped out to actually go for that kill. 2 0 in favor of Apex now, and we're going to switch over to Lowland Lions. See exactly what's going on for those guys. And let's see who's top of the, their leaderboard. It is going to be Strict, so we'll start off watching Strict and see what he can do. So Strict is playing that aggressive role that uh, we see from Crooks kind of, it's a, a, bit, a bit less aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, Crooks is just headstrong, goes in there, gets the, gets the opening kill. I mean, he's, he's got the opening kill almost every round. Um, this round, the last round, I mean, the opening round was a nade. He probably would have got the opening kill if that nade hadn't come in. 
So um, Strict is doing the same thing, but he's doing it a lot more methodically. He's uh, checking his corners, looking left, looking right, and coming up behind them. Yeah, he's actually playing this tactically now, trying to be a little bit sneaky. He's on the defense, so he, don't want to, he does, has got to be careful. They have spotted each other now. Oh, and he went for that kill when perhaps he shouldn't have. It is now 3-0 for Apex. All those kills picked up in quick succession for the team. Yeah, this is looking really good for Apex on the search and destroy. If they win this, if they win this by a considerable margin, that's going to be an amazing momentum boost. Mm -hmm. And uh, taking that into CTF on Havana, we going double Havana on this? Yes, I can see that actually. It is going to be kept stuff like Havana following the search and destroy. So Havana will be played again, oh. again, <laughs> and just press the wrong button. And there we go, back on board with team kill now. Don't worry, lads. Swizz did it last. <laughs> Yep. And there you go, Crooks picking up the opening frag once again onto Team Co. Amazing exchanges with a nade onto Riddles. A 3v3 situation right now, and the bomb is down for Lowland Lions. Crooks again with another frag. I think in all the search and destroys I've seen Apex place, Crooks is just going, you know, absolutely huge with his, with his opening pushes, with his rushes, Let's with just, his aggressive uh, play. I mean, we'll bring up the scoreboard quickly just to see what's going on. And wow, we're seven to one already. Only three rounds are gone. He has just fallen, though, at the hands of DNA who is left on his own now to win this attacking round. And Otherwise, Tommy with his first kill, he's using the M16. A little unorthodox, but mm -hmm. there you go. It's amazing here. 35 seconds left. He's against two or three Apex players. He has no bomb, and he gets picked up by Tommy. Tommy picking up two frags that round, and it's 4-0 up in this search and destroy to Apex. Yeah, we're going to see this final kill cam now by Tommy, right down the middle of the map. A lot of bullets exchanged between the two players. And Tommy getting the better of him. TM kill failing to pick up a kill so far in the search and destroy. And let's switch over to them as soon as possible. And get on board with Riddles now. See All what right. he's going to do. So he's going to be pushing up slightly slowly, throwing that pre-nade into top PC. Doesn't pick up any kills. But once again, Crooks with the opening frag. I think that's the third round in a row that he's done that. Mm -hmm. Just going in so quick. And oh, and TM kill caught off guard there. I believe that's going to put him on nil to five. It's going to be another clean sweep here. Uh, well, it is one versus four now for DNA. And <laughs> riddles. The arm is going down. Crooks picks up the kill. Crooks, what is he going now? What's what's, what's the kill there? He's, he's going huge. I think nine, nine to and two. Nine and two. Nine and two. He's he's playing extremely well. Team kill yet to get a kill. If Apex get this round, then that's six zero in search and destroy, and that's going to be demoralising. Completely yeah. and utterly demoralizing. After such a good opening start for Lowland Lions, um, they seem to be wavering a little bit now. Apex seems to have got their heads in the game. Could we be seeing a 6 0 shutout by Apex? We've seen it before. Uh, Deserto live, what was it? Fnatic up against Foreign. Yep. That launch search and destroy, absolutely demolished. Fnatic playing Let's see very who gets well. the opening frag on this side. Black, it looks like Black's going to get the opening frag there onto DNA. And he's, got, he's seen two in link. He oh. picks up one, and that's a complete and utter destruction of LLL by Apex. 6-0 in that search and destroy. Crooks going 11-2 mm -hmm. for his team. All the Apex players are going positive, and Team Kill not managed to get a single kill. He's got to be disappointed in himself. Really good play from Black and Crooks, cleaning up just by themselves there, getting all four kills very quickly. So that is 2-1 on rounds now to Apex.